We on baby, we live. What's going on beautiful people? I'm the Grandmaster and I also go by D-Ray bringing you guys the next week in the NCP. This is going to be an epic bout between the LA Gorilla Tactics and the Dallas Starmies coached by none other than the legendary Howdy Man himself, Shikwaza. So, if you guys are excited for this week, make sure you icicle crash that thumbs up button and if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button so you guys get notified every single time I post a new video. Now, with all of that out the way, I was unable to do a team builder this week. It has been one hell of a weekend. Um, this weekend I actually participated in the Championship Cup, or the Pokemon Championship. Don't remember the name. It was the tournament held by A-Drive and Wolf Glick. So, after that was over, the whole day has been kind of a blur. So, unfortunately we had to kind of scramble to get the team together. Thank you so much. Shout out to OG Albina to getting the team gen into my game. And uh, now we're ready to pop. The team that I think he's going to bring is down below. The team that the Mons I don't think he's going to bring is off to the right. And uh, we'll see if we get this right. Guys, please make sure you check out Shay's channel. This guy's legendary. He's a, the funniest guy you'll probably ever watch in, dark, in regards to like draft league content. Um, sometimes things can get kind of dry. So we try our best to be entertainers. And... Uh, Shay is like the definition of that, so shout out to you my man, I appreciate you, and uh, without further ado, he's waited long enough, we've taken forever to get ourselves connected, so now that we're here, let's just get this popping. Let's get it popping, so I'm going to hop over here, say good luck, have fun friend. Alright, and now we are going to connect, here we go. The good luck, have funs have been said. Calc is ready to go. We are communicating. And here we go. What did he decide to bring? He brings the deli bird. What? <laughs> My man. He doesn't bring quillfish, which is epic. He brings the deli bird. So I kind of regret not bringing Mel Metal this week. Um, he does bring the Duraludon. And he doesn't bring the Salazzle. Okay. So the Duraludon is coming, not Salazzle, which is interesting. The Galvantula comes and the Solvali does not. Wow, okay, so I got his team completely wrong, so we do have to worry about webs this game. And that's the team, okay. So with that being said, what is gonna be our best case scenario for leads here? I think it's just gonna be best to lead with Raichu here, just to get a Volt Switch off and whatever he decides to come in. Because now that the, um, now that the, Salazzle isn't here, then Raichu is the fastest mon on the field. Okay. We brought Assault Fest Raichu to take a hit from Salazzle and kill it back with Psychic. But now that it's not there, it's going to serve a different purpose now. But here we go. Let's get it. Gorilla Tactics. Starmies. NCP. Ding, ding, ding. Let's get it. All right. What you got for me, fam? What you got for me, fam? What you got for me? Delibird. <laughs> this man brought Delibird. What a legend. Delibird. Alright, well, um, I don't really know what this thing wants to do to me, to be honest. I mean, I'm assault vested. So, I'm just going to, uh... I do need Raichu for the most part, so I'm gonna pop off a... Th Thunderbolt or a Psychic actually and see what he wants to go for after that. So we're going to hit a Psychic and see what he wants to do. I actually don't know what Delibird does. I just think of it more as a meme. So we're going to hit a Psychic and it's Sashed. Is it Endeavor? Destiny Bond. Okay. Luckily, it was Focus Ash. It's Focus Ash Destiny Bond, which is interesting. So, Delibird has Destiny Bond. I need to not hit my keys. Destiny Bond. Alright, so now I don't want to kill this thing now. So, I have to switch out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in... Hi, friend. Right? Is that what we want to do? Or do we want to bring in Gorilla Tactics? Uh... Let's go ahead and bring, uh... 
Let's bring High Friend. Hi Friend. Focus Sash, Destiny One. Interessante. I don't have anything to drink. What a bummer. Let's see what he wants to go for. I really don't know what this thing wants to do. It sets up spikes. Okay. I don't know how fast this thing is. Actually. Yeah. They're in the other fridge. Um, I don't really want to mess with spikes here because of my focus sash, so I'm going to go ahead and defog. My assumption is that he's going to try to destiny bond again, so I'm going to defog. Freeze right. Oh, that was a misplay. We eat that though. That's good. So yeah, speeds us. So we don't want to die here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch out here. We're gonna bring in Gorilla Tactics. But he does have freeze dry. I honestly don't know what Delibird wants to do. I've never, it's never been on my radar. <laughs> um, the most I've heard of it is when Wolf did a video as a meme, as a Dynamax Mon VTC, but I, I don't know what this thing wants to do. I didn't even know this thing got freeze dry. I mean, it would make sense. It's a, it's a fucking ice type Pokemon. So we're going to bring in tactics here. How fast is Deli Bird? Destiny Bond. This thing is annoying. My gracious. So I have to attack the kill here now? He's making me like switch around, which is really, really, really sad. Really, really sad. Alright. I think he's going to try to set up spikes here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in day ones. It's kind of risky because he can just go for a freeze dry, but you wouldn't go through, you wouldn't go for a freeze dry on a Dermanitan, right? So this is going to be kind of questionable. Spikes? Okay. Perfect. Alright, so we got him. Going to get rid of the damn deli bird. Alright. So we are going to go for a rock slide. If we miss, I will be devastated. But we're not going to miss. You never risk your Dugtrio here, but... Get rid of it. Alright, cool. So Dougie kills Deli with rock slide. So he got up the uh, he got up the spikes and he got massive damage off on Mantine. So the Deli bird did way too much work. Way too much work. For my comfort. Which is funny. <laughs> Which is really, really funny. So, let's we'll see what he wants to do now. Mantine should be able to outspeed um, Horse. So I should be able to get a Roost off on that. I can get rid of the spikes later on. So this thing is here. What's my switch into this? So do I switch in, uh, do I switch in Gujo? I don't want to switch in Gujo here. I won't have my Focus Sash, which is quite annoying. So, not having my Focus Sash is going to be quite sad, but I could restore it for later. So we're actually going to switch out, and we're going to bring in, uh, Sloppy. He doesn't really have much that he can hit us with. We're pretty physically defensive on our Gudra, and we have Sap Super. So if he wants to hit us with like a drum beating or something, then it's just gonna be me. So what do you want to go for here? U turn, which is fine. Okay. So what is your switch into this? Is it Duraludon? Does the Duraludon come in here? Gudra. Duraludon. Let's just say your choice specs, just for just for um, argument's sake. Oh, and the Deli Bird's gone. Deli Bird's gone. This man brought Deli Bird, man. What a legend. What an absolute legend. Draco kills if he specs. So we're gonna get grassy terrain back and we're gonna get back leftovers, which is nice. So here's the thing. I don't know speed. If he Draco's me, or if he goes for a dragon pulse, that's gonna be quite annoying. So unfortunately I do have to switch here. 
Um, but what do I switch into? I think I have to switch into... Do I take a Draco with their trio? Probably not. But we're gonna go and bring in Raichu here. Raichu isn't all vested. So... We can still probably take a hit. If he specs, we can't take a Draco. So it's got me pivoting around, which is unfortunate. Goes for a Draco and he hits it. Okay, this should be doing... If he specs, 96, but I don't think he specs. He's not specs. Okay, cool. Raichu's value here isn't really as much needed as I would have had to have it. So I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch here. Yeah, we're gonna Volt Switch. If he brings in Horse, that would be best case freaking scenario. But we're just gonna get some damage off on this thing, which wouldn't really be doing too much. So he brings Duraludon for our Gudra, which is a good play on his part, because for the most part, Gudra is gonna wall his entire team. Probably. So I'm really upset that I didn't bring Melmetal now. He didn't bring Quillfish, which was my biggest concern. Although I knew I could get Thunder Punch on Melmetal, but at the same time, you know. Sure, woulda, coulda. I just need to get, I need to get, um, I need to get Darmanitan in the position to, oh no. All right guys, we'll, we'll be right back. Yay! All right guys, so we are back. Um, right to this point, and um, I don't know if this guy specs. I think that this is the risk that we have to take at this moment, but we're gonna go ahead and um, throw off a volt switch. And when we hit this volt switch, um, we're able to see what he wants to do from here. So it goes Donkey Congo, which is good. So, sorry about the whole hiatus. I actually know that the audio was all messed up. For whatever reason, I wasn't synced up. I'll try to fix that in post-production. But if not, we're all good to go now. We said our good lucks, our half funds. And uh, let's see what we can do. So this thing's in. So we're going to bring in Gorilla Tactics. So we got him here, which is pretty good. I kind of want to either hit something really, really hard or go for a U-turn. So, what is our play here? He obviously doesn't want to lose this. We can go for big damage off on something. What do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? I kind of want to just hit a flare blitz and bop something really, really hard. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's hit a flare blitz. It's pretty free. I want to overthink it and U-turn and have him stay in. That would be really bad. But he's gonna withdraw. We're gonna box something really, really hard here. Brings in this thing. So here's here's my strat, right? <laughs> Let's hope he's not Rocky Helmet. Oh, he did good damage. That's good. That's good. Um, that's good damage for Haunter. So the grassy terrain is up. He does. That was that Rocky Helmet. I actually didn't see. So you leftovers. No, are you Rocky Helmet? So what we're gonna do? We're gonna trick. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go for it. We're gonna show the tech. <laughs> so he got some good damage off on this, which is phenomenal. He's gonna be really confused about what happens here. So we're gonna go for a trick and hopefully burn this thing. I don't think he's gonna think that we're gonna stay in here. He may go through Stealth Rock. So we're gonna go for a trick and give him the Flame Orb. Maybe he goes for rocks. Rock slide? Okay, I think we live this. We don't, okay, that's fine. Whew. So we're gonna burn this thing, which is great. So, uh, horse kills Darm with rock slide. Okay, so that's pretty good damage. The grass terrain is no longer on the field. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna go ahead and go for we're gonna bring a sloppy. 
see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Alright. So from here, I kind of want to go for a Dragon Pulse. Or should I go for an Ice Beam? Hmm. Uh, Dragon Pulse is going to do good damage. He's burnt now, so he shouldn't be doing all too much. So... Dragon Pulse is a pretty good middle ground play. So the end game here, we're gonna have to, whew, we're gonna have to um, get everything in range for Haunter. So go for Dragon Pulse here. Does some seizable amount of damage. What does he want to do? High horsepower shouldn't do much. Okay. I think I want to take this opportunity to go ahead and go for a life dude. I think. I think he's perfectly happy with letting this thing go. So, he's just want to get damage. So we're going to go for a life do here. Get a little bit of recovery. The end game is going to be putting everything in range for Haunter. That's the end game here. Goes for a toxic. Ooh, that's important. All right. Now I think we're gonna go and bring in Mantine. This thing toxic is kind of shitty. That's important. So this thing's now on a timer, which really, really sucks. So I should be able to get in Mantine here. Rockside shouldn't be killing us, especially when it's burnt. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in High Friend. And. The question is going to be whether or not I want to defog or if I want to, um, if I want to go for a roost. If I go for a roost and he brings in Galvantula, that would kind of suck. Goes for a Toxic again, that's fine. We want to make sure that we can get rid of the spikes so we can keep the Focus Sash intact for our, um, for our, uh, Focus Ash on Duck Trio. That's going to be clutch here. So we're going to go ahead and go for a defog. Mantine's idea was to get rid of hazards and to be able to check the horse, which is great. We actually lost Darmanitan. He switches. Okay, so he's going to use that as a sack. So we get a free defog here. In comes this thing. I'm perfectly fine with this going down now. But if he decides to go for a sticky web here, that's going to be kind of unfortunate. So. I kind of actually want to switch out here now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go for Bless him here. Assuming that he maybe want to set up sticky webs, it's going to cover all grounds, I think. Sticky web, yep, that's all. That's fine. This is still have our sash intact on our dog trail, which is fine. So from here, we're gonna go for, let's see, let's see. What's the play here? I think we're gonna go for a psychic. Let's do that. Go for some damage. If I had Volt Switch there and he switches, that would have been a God of Light play on our part, but for the most thing. We'll see. The Sticky Web being up is going to be kind of an issue because now Haunter doesn't outspeed everything. So we got to find a way, somehow, some way, to get um, Mantine back in to get in the position to defog again. So Bug Bus comes out. I'm going to sacrifice Bright Shoe here. Which is fine. Okay. So from here, what is our play? What is our play? What is our play? I think we go to day ones. And then we rock slide or we sucker punch. So I'm going to go ahead and go for day ones here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we kill with a Sucker Punch. 
Dark Trio against the Galvantula. Level 50. Sucker Punch does 35 to 41. It's looking like it kills. Looking like it kills. So we're gonna go for a sucker punch here. You can't switch. Oh, he's shed shell. We misplayed there. The burn's gonna kill this thing, so he gets his uh he, he gets to keep his galvanic around, which really sucks. So horse dies to burn. Um darn. Alright. So horse is dead, it's three, four. Uh right she's coming also. So, what is our play here? What is our play here? Um, I think what we could do is go for... So we have the switch, which is unfortunate. I think this is the time. We're not going to be able to find another opportunity to get off the sticky webs, unfortunately. So it's looking kind of grim for us because of the Duraladon. Because of the Duraladon. Alright. You turn? Knock off. Okay. So, boom, kills, man time. Man time with. So from here, we are in a world of trouble. I'm going to go ahead and go for Sloppy here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, how much does Wujo do to, to Duraludon? Probably not very much. So man time's good. Okay, so we've got we got some time. What is the best case scenario here? He doesn't really have much to hit us with. So uh, we don't do nothing to Duraludon. We don't do anything to it. So we're gonna go for an ice beam, I think. Or should we go for a mud shot? Let's play here. Um, we go for an ice beam. Have to go for an ice beam. I feel like a scumbag for saying this, but if we were to freeze him, that would be incredible. Bushaki. This thing. Okay. I don't think this kills. That sucks. Ice beam. Does it? It doesn't. Kill, wow. That's unfort. That is big unfort. How much do you do to me, though? Probably not that much. Galvantula. You know what's funny? You know what's the most, most crazy part is the, the Deli Bird did this. The Deli Bird did this, which is like the worst part. Alright, um. We're gonna go for Dragon Pulse here. If I had gone for Dragon Pulse the first time, this would have been dead, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Udra. Kills. Calvantula. Dragon Pulse. Sticky webs, bro. Sticky webs. Um, I don't think that... Hmm. So this is gone. It's toxic, dude. It's toxic. Okay. So, Haunter, unfortunately, is not going to be outspeeding, which is the worst part about all of this. So, I think our endgame has to end somehow, some way, with Jet Fuel. 
But here's the thing, right? Do I just let you kill me here? No, I don't think that's the play at all. But what do I go to after this? Man. For whatever reason, I just didn't think that this thing would come. Did you run Shed Shell on it? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch out into D1s here. And luckily we still have the Focus Ash intact. So we're gonna switch. See what he wants to go for. Hopefully he goes for Dread. If he goes for Draco and misses, that's unfortunately best case scenario. Goes for Stealth Rock. Okay, cool. This guy brought all the hazards. He brought spikes, he brought stealth frog, he brought sticky web. Oh my lord. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go for a uh, high horsepower here. Did you have shed shell on this too? You switched up your moves. Did you switch up your moves? Flash cannon, okay. Pretty good play so that we don't reduce your special attack. Wait. Okay. That's a bulky boy. That is a bulky boy. <sighs> I think he needs to go for Sucker Punch here. Well, there's no reason not to go for Sucker Punch. It's just going to continue off another turn, so. Oh, this is in Fort. This is so in Fort. So, Dralu kills Dougie with what, Flash Cannon? Damn, dude. Okay. Alright. So, what is our next move here? Um. I think we have to bring in Sloppy and we have to force him to go into... We have to force him to hit me with the Draco. That's really what it comes down to. Honestly, I think that's what it... I think that's what it comes down to. Right? Shot. Can we miss two? I haven't missed two Dracos in a row. Two Dracos in a row. Flash cannon? Okay. One, I don't think we lived two of those because of the kill. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, is there a chance? Probably not because of the sticky web, which is unfortunate. So, Gudra kills Duraludon with oh, this is fucking toxic dude. Kills Duraludon with much shot. Alright, so it's a good play by him. What do you have to hit me though? Can I live a hit? I don't know. I don't know. Can I live a hit though? Can I live a hit? Ice beam. Do you have wood hammer? If you had wood hammer. No, it doesn't work anyway. I'm sap sipper. Ooh! Please think I'm not sap sipper. Knock off. This doesn't kill. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the toxic. The toxic came in clutch. Wow. Boom. Kills. Gudra with. I think that was a roll. Gudra with knock. I think that was a roll, let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I have some time. Gudra against a rollable. Maybe it's going to depend on his investment, but let's just say you're, you know, regular. Whatever. Um, knockoff does 26 to 31. Oh, I think that that was a roll. That blows, dude. 
And because of the sticky web, the thing is, you probably would have been able to clean this up, but unfortunately, he's got a knockoff, so he's gonna be able to clean this up. We were able to bring this down 2-0, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, the sticky webs did us in. I didn't think that he would bring Galvantula, I really didn't, but, you know what? It is what it is. Gotta go for a sludge bomb here. By the off chance he misclicks and, you know, not to wrap Hunter. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right, boom, kills, Hunter with no. All right, well, GG's, that's gonna be a loss 2-0. Guys, thank you so much for supporting me um, through this little rough patch that we've been going through. Um, I'm not really sure what is going on, to be honest with you. I will turn this around, don't worry. It'll be all fine, and uh, I'm not really, I'm not worried about it. These are really, really good, like these people that have been playing are super, super good. So um, we started off with a really big bang, and I kind of let off from there. So I got to put the foot back on the gas, and uh, we will pick it up next week. So we're gonna start it off one in three. One in three. Wow, that's really, really bad. I'm really uncomfortable with that. It's uh, we will turn this around again, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Hit the like button if you guys. Uh, can please and um see you guys next time i'm getting the heck up out of here have a good rest of your night and above all else be nice peace